the next couple of days will be very interesting finally some clouds 10 to 7 and we are charging with 308 watts only 55% state of charge it will be interesting It did rain all night through. Basically since yesterday noon, so for the last 20 hours, it is raining, it is gray, it is cold, it is wet. And this is exactly the weather we wanted, right? To test the new solar setup here on the off-grid garage. Well, and when I had a look this morning after waking up at about at around 10 past five, we were charging with 50 watts already, so so turned around and kept sleeping <laughs> and now we are close to seven in the morning and we well what can i say we are making 1.2 kilowatt already in this mush weather super super cloudy it looks like the energy problem is solved <laughs> what's up everybody and welcome back to another video here from the off-grid garage in not so sunny australia but isn't that exactly the weather <laughs> isn't that exactly the weather we were looking for cloudy stormy rainy and no sun at all look at this gray ah, look at this we've got 17 amps outside 17 degrees tell you what the last days were crazy here clouds rain storm everything but i guess this is exactly why you have a battery at home which was fully charged from the last sunny day and then and then you live off this battery of this previously harvested pure sunshine here yeah, yeah. and as you can see we are making 1.8 kilowatt from the solar 430 watts from the carport 500 watts from the east roof 520 from the west roof and 370 from the big shed 1.8 kilowatt I, I said this many times here on the channel this was always my goal to reach one kilowatt of production in these weather conditions which we are reaching right now well anyway i'm glad i went with the new solar panels and the better efficiency the smaller footprint on the roofs now and production seems to be seems to be very very good 1.7 1.6 kilowatt and this is exactly what i could see yesterday as well just around one kilowatt to 1.5 kilowatt consistently during the day uh, with a cloudy sky uh, you can also see i have not turned off my pool pump or something it still runs 24 7. i have now also connected the water pump of the house with the outside fridge where all my spat is stored in yeah the good old spat fridge is running from the system here as well so you will see the occasional spikes now in the vim of 1.3 1.4 kilowatt now and this is when the water pump kicks in inside the house now but this won't be a permanent setup because because i have planned a special project for connecting the water pump for the house and the spat fridge so hopefully we can do all this in december now when i have a few days off and can finish this project before christmas yeah i mean so far i cannot complain 1.6 from the solar 700 watts is being used and um, there's some other standby stuff running here in the garage and also we are charging still the battery with um, around 10 amps so that is all working just fine we are down to 39 percent but this is still like 15 kilowatt hours of storage and we are charging so let's see how this goes during the day but i think the forecast is not pretty it will just keep raining the whole day through and we won't see much difference here i'm really keen to see how much we can produce in these conditions as i briefly mentioned before in one of my videos with a two-person household including hot water including charging the vehicle for my commute we are using around 20 kilowatt hours per day all in total including cooking and all this kind of stuff so if we could reach 20 kilowatt hours per day even in these conditions i would be 
fully 100% self-sufficient. But as we have seen yesterday, I managed to get only 18 kilowatt hours from my solar. Would mean we have to take two kilowatt hours out of the battery. But then considering this battery is like 44 kilowatt hours all in total, that would mean I can survive a long, 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 long time in these conditions without pure sunshine, without recharging the battery fully. So at the moment, I really think it could work. It could work. We could connect the house to the battery here and have no issues at all with any power consumption then. That would be an amazing project. It is still raining outside. Look at this. No sun, nothing. Just clouds, rain. I even had to shut down the garage a little bit here because it was raining inside. There's so much wind. But we have 56 amps outside. Isn't that amazing? Look at this, guys. We are at 47% state of charge already. We are charging with 2.9 kilowatts and we are generating four kilowatts of power in these conditions. This, this, this exceeds all my expectations, all of them. Four kilowatt in cloudy, rainy conditions. That is incredible. The big shed, a bit over 900 watts, the carport over one kilowatt and east and west roof around 1.2 kilowatts. <laughs> Mind blown. And we have already generated 11 kilowatt hours today at 11.30. 0.66, 1.2, 1.6, 0.5, 3 kilowatt hours last hour, and 1.8 so far. We've got 19 degrees outside and the battery is on 21 degrees. Well, looking only at these numbers until now, um, I'm pretty confident we can connect the house without any issues to the system here and we won't have any any power issues at all. But in saying that, we need to consider that in winter time the hours we have sunlight or, or light at all outside are reduced. So I think we will have sun at around 7 a.m. in the morning until about 5 in the afternoon and then... But this is still 10 hours of charging then. But this is... But this is still 10 hours of generation. Well, at the moment we have around 14 hours of generation of usable light outside. Hmm. And it is now close to one o'clock. It is still raining outside. So we can see we are making only 850 watts at the moment. Uh, it went down a bit. And we are actually discharging the battery now. We are at 51% state of charge now. So it has slightly recharged the battery in the last couple of hours. But now at the moment, it's not enough to keep up with the loads. But we have already made 14 kilowatt hours today and have used only 12 so far. So that's a good sign. That's very positive. And one o'clock, we still got another four hours to go. So let's see, let's see. Guys, I was just going to show you that it stopped raining and now it started again. Anyway, the day is almost over. We have, um, what's the time? 10 past 5 p.m. Okay, we are still making 431 watts. And all in total, 20 kilowatts today. <laughs> I think this would be exactly the amount of energy we are using inside the house. So that would mean the system would generate enough energy, even in cloudy, in super cloudy, rainy conditions, to deliver enough energy to the house to be 100% off-grid. That is freaking amazing. That is more than yesterday. And we had some sunny moments yesterday. Yeah, 3.4 kilowatt hours. But then in the afternoon, it was really shit. Well, the day before, we made actually 41 kilowatt hours, but also kept because we fully charged the battery. So this was a sunny day. And the day before that day, there was 53 kilowatt hours. So here in the last seven days, in the last week, we made over 300 kilowatt hours with this system and we have used 320. Well, this is because the generator kicked in as well, which is our Phoenix inverter. And it is being powered by the same battery. So it's calculating the battery consumption for this generator actually twice. But this is only because the Phoenix inverter is not connected via a cable to the Venus system at the moment. So, so the Victron system doesn't know this inverter exists actually. So whenever these green bars are coming up here, the calculation is actually wrong. 
But today, everything is about today, and we have made 20 kilowatt hours. And quarter past five, we are still making 400 watts from solar. And if we have a quick look at the last two days, we can see we actually started with 100% state of charge before this rainy season started. And we have used some energy overnight. And then the next morning when the sun came out, we could just recharge the battery a tiny bit from 54% from to 68%. And then we used again a lot of energy overnight. Here there's red bars when the dishwasher ran. And then this morning we were down to 37% and managed to recharge to 53%. But as you can see, the trend of this curve is going down. So we are not hitting the highs of the previous day anymore. Like here, 68%, and we are now down to 53%. So this is like 15% less than we had yesterday at this point of time. But if you would use only 15 or 20% each day, the battery would last us five days under these conditions until it's fully empty. So that's actually pretty good. And we all know this won't be the last battery. Look at this crazy sky. We could just see the sun for the first time in two days. Okay, what do we get? 21 kilowatt hours. And we are still making five watts <laughs> from the roof. Guys, I'm not complaining. 18 kilowatt hours yesterday. 21 kilowatt hours today that is amazing for this bad weather and no sun at all that was a great and fantastic test because sun and summer is easy everyone can do that but in these conditions making that much power i could have not done it with the old panels they are not efficient enough in these light conditions okay guys i think we have gained some uh, good knowledge today and yesterday and I guess we are on a good way, so we can hopefully sooner or later connect the house. Seems like we are making enough power here. So let's see. I'm working with the Sparky on it at the moment. We are making a secret attack plan. No, actually, I will let you know. Okay, guys, I think that's it for today. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your amazing support here. Thanks, Joe, for the t-shirts. <laughs> Especially thank you for all your generous donations. Very much appreciated. And until the next video, guys, you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. Does it? Okay, see you then. Bye-bye. It starts raining again. <laughs> but tomorrow. The sun is coming back tomorrow. I'm hopeful. <laughs>